How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. It's week two of 2023 and yet again another update video talking about everything that's happening in the Forza world this week. There's quite a few things to talk about. It's quite a big one. If you do enjoy these weekly update videos guys make sure to subscribe you won't miss anything happening in the Forza world. Let's jump straight into it. So the main major thing we're going to be talking about today is actually quite a big deal in my eyes. We all know Forza Horizon 5 and all the other Forza Horizons are made by Playground Games. Now we know lots of familiar faces over at Playground Games from the live streams such as Mike Brown, Torben, Chris, everyone like that. Well, big bombshell news today over on Twitter Mike Brown, the creative director of Playground Games, has announced that he's basically left Playground Games along with six or seven other Playground Games staff, including Tommy, which is Tommy Bargains. So that means no more Tommy Bargains, no more Mike Brown. Now straight away, let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of this, because this can be taken in lots of different ways. It can be taken as a bad thing, a good thing, a sort of a confusing thing. What do you guys think this is going to mean? We can say over on Twitter, Mike Brown tweeted, Big career update, I am thrilled to announce that I am now created director at Maverick Games, a new independent AAA studio in Leamington Spa. I think that's how you pronounce it. Now that is where Playground Games is based. And what's happened is Mike Brown and six other Playground Games employees have left Playground Games to create their own games studio, AAA studio, called Maverick Games. They've got their own Twitter website. They have their own website. They're already tweeting out that they are um, they're hiring, they want up to 140 staff members. We can see Mike and Tommy celebrating. He has specified that there is no bad blood between him and Playground Games or anyone that falls a team, so we can presume the same for the rest of the people that left with him. Um, it must just be a decision for him that he wants to do, he fancies it, there's no bad blood between them, but there may still be, you know, other motives behind it, if that makes sense. Um, but what does this mean? for Forza and Playground Games in general. Because at the end of the day, that's what most of us are bothered about. We've had some big people in the Playground Games team leave. What does that mean for the future of Horizon? Well, Mike Brown has actually said a few things about this change in his career. In 2021, we shipped Horizon 5, which was a thrill to work on. As much as I had an amazing journey at Playgrounds, I was asking myself, what's next? Do I stick with this fun, good job, or do I look for other opportunities? This opportunity came up. I was asked what my vision would be for a new studio, and I was lucky I had an idea in mind. It then goes on to say about how games are usually made quite safely, with real security. You know, there are no risks that they take in updates or development ways or stuff like that. Games are made too safely and no risks are made, and it seems like Mike Brown wants to create this studio, create a triple A gate, triple A game with sort of no limits as to what they do, what the developers can do, and stuff like that. The full Maverick team that have come from Playground Games, so the people who have left, are obviously Mike Brown, Tom Butcher, which is Tommy Bargains, Matt, which is a technical director, Gareth Harwood, which is a technical art director. Fraser, which is an audio director, and Ben Penrose, who's a Playgrounds art director. So all of them people have left to go to Maverick. And all of these people seem to have the same vision as Mike Brown. Now this leads me back to my previous mention, is what does this mean for the future of Horizon 5? I don't think and I hope we're going to see much difference with updates and everything from now on, now that these people have left. They did have big influence over there, they were directors, they probably did decide some things, but I can't imagine that everything's going to go downhill for Forza now. It will be a shame to, to not see them on the live streams anymore, especially Tommy Bargains, because that's hilarious. So I don't think we have to worry about how Forza is going to be from now on. As for what game Maverick is working on, all we know about it is that it is an open world game for consoles and PC. We don't know what specifically it's going to be. I guess we can make a safe presumption it might be about cars. 
Um, we can't be for sure though, but yeah, an open world game for consoles and PC, that's what it's going to be, AAA. Now we're not going to see this for an extremely long time as it's only just beginning. Um, so what else has happened this week? Well, I think this happened last week, but I've sort of accidentally missed it. There is a new Xbox Series X and Forza Horizon 5 Premium Edition bundle releasing where you can buy an Xbox with Horizon 5 Premium as one bundle. We can see it comes with the Hot Wheels expansion, the VIP pass, the car pass, the welcome pack, and the second expansion when available. Um, it will cost $559, which is about £489. Now, if you own Game Pass, Forza Horizon 5 is free anyway, and all you have to pay for is the expansion bundle, which is about 30 quid. So £450 is what you end up sort of spending on an Xbox Series X, which is kind of normal anyway. So yeah, but there's another bundle there if you're interested in it. Um, in some other news, which is even cooler, we all know we are hoping for an Xbox Games Showcase this month. It's been rumoured and we've still yet to see any announcement of it, what's going to be in it, we don't know. The second expansion for Horizon 5, Forza Motorsport, we've still not heard about it. However, more leaks, more rumours are coming out and more specifically, the 25th of January is a date to maybe note down in your calendar. Xbox and Bethesda Developer Direct show is slated for Wednesday 25th of January according to Windows Central. Now this is a reliable source. It will include deep dives of Redfall, Minecraft Legends, Forza Motorsport and content of whatever that is. Now if this is true, on the 25th of January we're going to get deep dives into Forza Motorsport. Finally hear a little bit about that. Maybe a more specific release date release time would be nice but nothing about the horizon 5 second expansion now it could be in it and we might not know yet but i don't know are we not going to hear about the second expansion in this you know xbox games showcase when on earth are we getting the second expansion because it usually gets announced within something like this and if we've got it in january we know the second expansion is coming early this year as i say in every single video we are already early in this year, so when on earth is it coming? March? Surely it's going to get announced soon if it's in March. I don't know. In other news, we have, not really news, but something I wanted to show you all. We know the next update, Series 17, is Japanese automotive. Lots of questions about what cars are we getting? What Japanese cars might come to the game? Well, we know the Nissan Z is a massive probability, but what else? Well, Kelpie D over on GT Planet put together a list of cars that are in the game, but in the files leaked, um, so not in the game essentially, that they are from previous Horizons that would be a good recycled car, just basically all of the possible cars. So here's a list of cars that aren't in the game that might return, and were in the game that aren't anymore, you, you know what I mean. Um, so there's the list, there's pretty cool cars like the Honda CRX Del Sol, the Lexus LC500, and um, the Nissan Z, obviously, just a bunch of Japanese cars, really, that might, might be the cars that come within the update. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much everything that I have to talk about today. So, guys, make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you want to any more content just like this, and I'll see you all later.